What is going on guys, it's Jaris here, bringing you guys a brand new Black Ops review. Today the game plan in the background is a 40 and 1 team deathmatch. Uh, pretty much I had a level 1000 on the other team, and his team was pretty stacked. He had a couple of procedures in there. Um, I think he had a third procedure, a ninth procedure in there. And my team was full of non-procedures, pretty much guys who have never prestiged. So uh, it was pretty scary going into the game. He was using, I think... Uh, I think he was using Heat Wave actually, so he's the only Heat Wave on their team right now. So wh whenever I kill him, that's him pretty much. Also, I drop a nuke in this gameplay. Uh, it's pretty insane that I dropped the nuke on a level 1000 and he rage quit. I don't know when he exactly rage quit, but I know he wasn't there for the ending of the game. So yeah, I dropped a nuke on him pretty much. Also, I pick up the 74U in this game, so if you ever wanted to see me use it. Uh, my thoughts for the like first, I guess, I got like four kills with it, but it's it's all right. I guess with the right attachments, you can do work with it. Um, the first time I picked it up was, I think, yesterday, but I had no attachments, and it was pretty bad. So this one, I think it had long barrel, rapid fire, and grip. I'm not sure on that, but it was, it was decent. I actually liked it. It hit hard. It shot pretty fast. So, yeah, I can't wait to grind for it and get it. So, yeah, let me know if you like this type of gameplay. I can go out and, like, search for sweaties and try against them and try to beat them and stuff. Um, I was thinking of doing that, but like, I don't know, sometimes when you run into a six-man party, they like to spawn trap, use jitter mods, brekkie, so it's kind of hard nowadays. Um, I used to like 1v6 pretty much every team I played against back in the days, because there was like no brekkie. Uh, people were being normal using kudas, I made and stuff, so it was a lot easier back then to carry my team to victory. But nowadays, uh, if someone's using a brekkie on, on the other team, I can handle it, because I have an M8 and I keep my distance, but my teammates... They're just feeding them kills and they're getting streaks, so it's kind of hard to play against groups nowadays. But yeah, I'm down to like find like people who are playing solo, like this guy on the other team, and just try to like win against them. Pretty much like a 1v1 with our teams behind us, I guess, because we're both going to carry the team, obviously. I think it's pretty crazy that this guy also rage quit on me, because if you're a level 1000 with 4000 wins in TDM and you stayed in a lobby with another level 1000 on the other team, I would expect you to stay through the whole thing. And actually put up a fight. But this guy got absolutely clapped. I got my streaks and all that. And my teammates are non-prestige. So I was expecting him to do a lot better. Um, I was actually pretty scared for my team. Because I thought they were going to feed him streaks and stuff. And that would have been really, really bad. It confuses me. I'm, I'm guessing he didn't check my stats. Because if you play against a guy with 90,000 kills at an M8. Shit's about to go like really bad. Um... Not usually all the time, but sometimes, like, when they have their favorite weapon as M8, you know shit's about to go down. So, yeah, usually I check stats all the time just to know what kind of players I'm playing against. So, say if I'm playing against two level 1000 the other team, and one guy has his favorite weapon as VMP, the other guy is M8. Um, I know what spot they're going to go in right off the rip of the game so I can challenge them. Because, obviously, an M8, most likely, if they're sweaty, they're going to, like, jump around and shit. So, I'm ready for that. And if they have a VMP, they're going to stay around the middle of the map or try to flank around and go into spawns um, on Nuketown. So, yeah, I don't know why he didn't check my stats. I literally killed him right off the rip. And I'm not sure when he left the game, like I said before. But, yeah, he just rage quit on me. Like, my team is full of, like, non-procedures. And he rage quit, which is insane to me. A level 1000. So, also, in the background of the gameplay, you can also see I'm using Tempest, which I don't usually use. But I'm starting to use more because... Uh, it has more benefits in the game, to be honest. I think it takes 8 kills with some time waited to get it. And Scythe takes like 15 with some time. Or just like 4 minutes, 20 seconds, I think is the real time. So that's a long time to get a Scythe. And I'm usually getting around 4 or 5 kills, maybe less with the Scythe. But with Tempest, I have a potential of getting like 6, 7, or 8 kills. Um, I think it has 8 shots and you can chain and stuff like that. So it's like... I think it's way more of a benefit in TDM at least. I use Scythe and Domination though, but yeah, I just started pulling out Tempest for TDM just because it gets me streaks so much quicker. Also, I'm not using Scavenger, so I'm picking up weapons left and right. Usually I do run Scavenger, but I'm trying to just run and gun in TDM and get easy wins because I'm grinding for Crypto Keys so I can try to get the 74U and the uh, Into the Void camo. So yeah, just fast hands for now. I think I might switch back. I know when people use Shipmizer stuff, I have a hardware class that I use which is one of my main classes, but yeah, for now I'm just using fast hands, and damn, I haven't used fast hands on an MA for a while, like fast hands, quick draw combination, I haven't used that in a while, and it feels real nice, I'm snapping on people and stuff, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys, hope you guys enjoyed it, 41 again, dropping a nuke on a level 1000, he also rage quit, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, peace.